All right, guys. So first on our list, this is a female juvenile ball python. Uh, was donated to me, and uh, some girls just texted me on Facebook and said if I wanted it, and I said yeah. So there she is. Not much. She yeah, just sorry about that. I got a phone call. So yeah, um, this is her. Pretty good eater, but doesn't really do much. So yeah. So now let's move on to the next animal. Alright guys, so this is my baby African bullfrog. His cage is really, really wet, I know. Uh, so I don't want to hear any comments about that. Let me wash him off here. Just put a little bit on him. Right, let me show you. Oh my god. Okay, well there he is. <laughs> so yeah, he's pretty cool. I don't know the gender. Um, Will's Pixie Frog is called, is named Mr. Pickles. So this one's Mrs. Pickles. Just, just cause. But yeah, nowhere near the size of Will's. So now let's go on to my bearded dragon. All right, so this is my male bearded dragon. Whoa, that uh, what was the deal with this one, Will? Did I get it for free or from Derek or or uh, how did I? Did I pay? I didn't pay for it. I don't think. Like he traded. I traded it for something. I don't know what I traded it for. No, the rat food was for the fidget spinner. Uh, I honestly have no idea. But, I traded something for this guy. So, he's pretty cool. Definitely going to be breeding with mine and Will's bearded dragon. Which you will see Will's later. Oh yeah. So yeah. So now let's move on to my female bearded dragon. All right guys, so this is my female bearded dragon. Um, I've had her since she was little. Really not much about her. She eats a lot, but yeah, they're just, they're basically the same. And she is chilling on this rock that I got from a nearby canal. So yeah, now let's move on to the, the next guys, item. So fans that know me, or People that, that have been watching for a while know that I got a, an adult copperhead, but I traded him for this juvenile. There he is. We'll zoom in on him. So there he is. He's still got his little green tail. Um, he doesn't eat mice for me. Uh, he's, I think he's ate one mouse, but he, he really likes lizards, so that's what I feed him. I want to try to feed him a small frog. And then, as you can see right here, that little hole right there is where he likes to go in, and I'll show you a picture of that right now. So right, so right, so right. Hey guys, so these are my three uh, juvenile western diamondback rattlesnakes. Um, some we we actually caught them. Some guy is supposed to come pick them up because he's interested in them for an educational animal, like he said. But uh, so I'm not sure. But if he doesn't come get them, then I'm Probably just gonna end up keeping them because I already had them for like a month or two. They're pretty thin right now because tomorrow's feeding day. And there's the third one. So one, two, three. But yeah. So there they are. This is the biggest one out of them. Yeah, that one's my favorite. He does not turn down a meal. But yeah. So now let's, uh, I'll show you my next one. Alright, guys. So this is my male normal reticulated python. Um, as y'all saw, if you did see, we ordered normals, but Bob Clark accidentally, or maybe purposely, sent Will a tiger retic. Oh uh, yeah, we sold it because, eh, who needs a snake that big? And like, she wasn't, or he wasn't eating. Yeah. But this guy eats, not good, because he could eat better, but he's, he's eaten. He ate a big old rat the other day, or not big, but like, big for him about two or three days ago but yeah so will if he sees one at, he's not gonna go buy one online but if he sees one at an expo he likes right. yeah he might get it yeah. there he is. Uh, he's pretty aggressive but i don't really mind most retics are so yeah now let me show you my boas I don't call them back, girl. Let me see you hold it down. We gon' have a blast. I just wanna know. Alright guys, so this is my mail. Sorry if you hear noise, my neighbors being construction. 
But yeah, so there's my male uh, red tail. On the way, he bit me. He tagged me on the arm on the way out. But it's all good. But honestly, this is one of my probably one of my favorite snakes that I have. Uh, I've raised it since it was little and eats every single time. So yeah, probably gonna bite me again right now. Please don't. But yeah, so now let's look at my other boas. This is my female boa. Um, she might, oh, I don't know, but like she might be pregnant. It looks like my, I, I attempted to bring my boas and they look like they were locked up. So I really hope she is, but she's like eight, maybe, maybe nine, but mostly eight, seven foot. But yeah, she's pretty big. She's awesome. And this is my other male. Uh, okay, this one is really skinny because I have two baby chickens free range in my room with like water and stuff, obviously. But yeah, and that one got out and ate one of the chickens. And ever since then, has not been wanting to eat any mice or rats or anything so i'm gonna i have I already found someone that's gonna sell me chickens so i'm gonna buy one and find out if she wants to eat it because obviously i'm not gonna let her die because i mean I, it's a snake like i like it but i might i might uh sell her just for, or him just because he's real dark and uh doesn't eat very well and i already have a male so yeah, but this is the one that looked like it was locked up with that one. So yeah, now let's show um, my other. Uh, this is my female and male ball python. Uh, my female is on the left and my male is on the right. The female uh, was given to me by my cousin. Uh, he's had it for like, she's like 16, 17 years old. And uh, he's always in and out of jail, so he just gave it to me uh, for Christmas. And then that male is uh, supposedly pastel head albino i believe that it's head albino but because she showed me the parents and everything but i don't i don't think it's pastel but it's definitely lighter than the other one so it might be but i'm not sure but yeah those are just ball pythons everybody knows what they are so um, now let's move on to the uh, savannah monitor so this is my baby savannah monitor he's currently chewing down some ground turkey that i gave him and um, that's his cage not much, but yeah, he's a uh, he's a little feisty little guy. But yeah, there's not much about him. So now let's, let's go look at my snapping turtle and stuff. Right, guys, so this is my two or three year old water monitor, uh, supposedly female. I'm finding out for sure through X-rays in a little bit whenever I get the email from the doctor. But uh, yeah, we've got some stuck shed on her. All monitors don't shed very good, but I'm trying to feed him some turkey here. You want some turkey, bro? But yeah, not a real good eater since I've got her, but that's just because her cage is kind of small for what I have her in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, so her cage is pretty small because I'm building a huge one. I'm building one that's 8 foot by 4 foot. And then like three foot high, so you'll definitely see that once I have her cage built. Yeah, here she is. So now let's move on to my uh Cayman. The Cayman and then the Green Tree Python. And the Stamina Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my Cayman chilling in his water bowl. All that oil you see on top of the water, that's from fish. It's not from anything else. Um his appetite hasn't been that well because his heater went out, so I need to get him an, or a new one. Do that or just see what's wrong with it. But yeah, these are all just little food that he spit up. So I'm going to change his water right now. But yeah, there he is. Um, hasn't really, well, he's grown a lot. Probably like four inches since I got him, but it's pretty slow. But yeah, so now let's move on to the snapping turtle. Alright, guys, so that's my common snapping turtle. He's eating a. Uh, Grounded turkey right now. There he is. Yeah. But yeah, he needs some water in his cage, obviously. But he'll be good for right now. So now let's go show my green tree python. Yes, this is my buyout green tree python. 
He's got a little mark on his head, as you would just probably saw. Um, I've talked to a few people about it, and they just said that um, that some green shoe pythons get it, or just from little injuries, but that they'll go away. And this isn't his cage. Um, I'm actually redesigning his cage right now, so that's why there's no water in it. But yeah, this was his cage. But his shedding started to go real bad, so I'm putting him in a tub with like an inch of water, because that's what Brian Barczyk does for humidity. So I'll show you that right now. This is the tub I have him in. Uh, it's like an inch or two deep. But yeah, this is what Brian does, except I added a lot more decoration. He just puts him with water and a stick, like three sticks. But yeah, one stick? Yeah. Oh, then he does one stick, but yeah. So that's basically it, guys. Um. This is Wham's Pixie Frog. Um, here's, oh my god, it almost did. <laughs> uh, he eats mice usually, but we're just feeding him worm right now because we don't have any mice. There we go. So yeah, it's an African bullfrog. Um, Will thinks it's a male because we heard that only males croak. But hopefully that's not true because that means mine croaked too. <laughs> so yeah. Now let's move on to his other. Alright guys, so this is Will's uh, female red tail bill. Not a true red tail. It's a common. It's a, yeah, it's a common. Probably gonna get a cage upgrade soon. Yeah. Um, she was on a 40 gallon, but we had to move her to a 20 because Will's Savannah monitor needed a 40. But she's actually grown a lot since we got her. Yeah, it's not like she moves anyway, she just stays under her height. Yeah. And there she is. And she's used to taking frozen thaws, that's basically what he feeds all the time. Did you give her a lot of time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But yeah. So, let's, let's see how it's going. This is Williams female checkered garter snake, because you can see she's poking her head out right now. I'm going to take off the hide. Oh, I thought she'd come out chasing my finger, but. Uh, we feed her lizards sometimes and worms and stuff. What do you feed her mostly now? Uh, fish. Fish. Shad. We don't know how many fish to feed her. But yeah. So there she is. I mean, one day we'll try to get the Bogardus to breed, but. Yeah, whatever. So now let's move on to Will's um, male checkered garter snake. Alright, guys, so this is my male garter snake. Checkered garter snake. He's a little smaller than my female, but... They're in a 10 gallon, by the way, for yeah. size reference. We've had them for like three years already. Or two. No, it's been like three or four. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, that's him. <clears throat> so... Let's move on to the next island. This is William's Savannah Monitor. This is his cage. He's got a nice water bowl to get in. He always poops in his water bowl. <laughs> yeah. He's got like cocoa fiber mixed with these little things, but we're going to build him a cage, so that's why he doesn't have that much bedding. As you can see, it's kind of thin. I wish he could get more. There he is. He's in the shed right now. It's a really bad shed, but usually monitors don't shed very well. But... I don't really like this guy personally because every time I hold him, he poops on me. He's probably giving the bathroom now. Yeah, I'll soak him. That's what I'll do right now. I'll do it. But yeah, like, he's pretty big compared to when we got him. But he's still got a lot of growing to do. Yeah. And he does. So let's move on to Will's uh, ball python. Right, so Will's just taking him out of the cage because the cage isn't anything special. But, uh, <laughs> so here he is. He's a cinnamon ball python. He's really warm. Yeah, he's on the heat pad. Uh, he's actually gotten really big since we got him. And, uh, he's way fatter. Like, way. He's thick. But, yeah. 
So there he is. Typical Bob Python really doesn't do much. Will almost bought a banana today, but it was a nail. Yeah. Or not almost, but was thinking about it. I, if it was a female, I would have bought it. Especially because it was 150. Yeah, but. That's him. Now let's move on to the next one. The Dirty Dragon. Right now, um, she doesn't have a basking bowl because Will's broke right now. Or, not, or didn't break, but burnt out. Break. But we put this one on her. Just for temporary. Until he gets another basket. But right, here she is. Oh, and by the way, if y'all are wondering why we don't make videos that often anymore, it's because Will's phone takes forever to upload and stuff, and my phone broke. So yeah. Here he is, or here she is. Um, definitely will be breeding with my male and female. I mean, not the female, but with the male. <laughs> so yeah. Now, um, let's just move on to Will's leopard geckos. All right, guys. So this is William's female hypo leopard gecko. Um, they're pet smart geckos, so then they're not from an actual breeder, but. We're not sure on her actual genetics, but people told us it was hypo. She is in shit. That's all. Yeah. You can tell from her on the camera. Mm -hmm. She's definitely in We shit. are getting rid of her all of our... Yeah, we're getting videos. rid of all of our leopard. Well, I already got rid of all mine. You did? Well, you still have those two. I just had that one. But, yeah. We're trying to get rid of all of them. Just lost interest. Watch out, girl. All I feed them is super worms. Yeah. So now this is the albino bell, I think. Sorry if their cages are all messed up, but whenever I get them, like, when I clean them, they dig up all the corners and they make a big mess. That's her. She's like pink and yellowish. But yeah, not much, not special with leopard geckos. So for all people that are probably gonna want to buy them, are you gonna ship them? Out? They want them. Yeah, no shipping. It's too much complicated. And this is um, just a male normal high yellow. He's really fat. And then oh, no, I saw that. that. So yeah, the world doesn't have any more reptiles to show. So right now we're gonna show his roach colony, uh, the Divya roaches. Here, you wanna see him eat? Yeah. This is a little rock bass, so we don't know no, what it it's is. A, I, don't know, I forgot what it's called. But All right, guys, so here they are. <laughs> wow, I gave them food yesterday and they already ate it all. So basically he gives them food every day. Just because they're so fast to eat As you can see, those are all babies and poop. But obviously those aren't the babies. Like, this isn't the babies right here. Those are the babies running around. Um, the collection's actually pretty big. Yeah, that's probably... Started off with less than 20. There's probably around 2,000 in here. Or more. I mean, there's definitely a lot of them. Should feed one to your beard, Jaggy. One of the males. Males anyway. Or give one to your monitor. I'd rather see that. Oh, well, I need to get one to those in there. I'll get them. Give me, I'll give, give me another one. Another male? Okay. Yeah. Did you get it or not? Oh, yeah. Hello, Kite. I'm gonna see if I can burn. Get out of these. Wow. Yeah, guys, I accidentally deleted the outro, so I'm redoing it right now. But so, yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed. Leave some comments in the questions. Once my water monitor starts eating really, really good, I'll make some videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it won't take us another year and a half to make another reptile collection. 
But yeah, this is Alien Reptiles and peace.